Oz. What are we doing? This is in Kansas. Kansas. You want to leave? Go, Roz. <laughs> I'm Sam, this is an assignment. He's not a weekend guy. No, that's why I only pitched three innings. I think the whole thing is he went out, we got him into a different role, we put him into different environments. He struggled in the environment on Sunday uh, a lot. First time he's he's pitched away from home, uh, except down in Corpus Christi, a lot different uh, things on the line. In Corpus Christi, um, that was one issue and one set of circumstances. And what you really see is the power of environment and how it affects people and players. Uh, he got back into a comfort zone here tonight. We did this not because of him. We did the same thing with Cole Green. When he went out and he had a short start on a Sunday, we want to get him back to the mound, get their confidence, put him in the right environment, give him a chance to regain their confidence. He also pitched a limited number of pitches, which makes Sunday a, 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 a strong possibility. Uh, we'll see where that takes us. In the fifth inning with that double play, was that a, was that supposed to be a bunt? Was that supposed to be a slash with them crashing like uh, that? The way the play works, uh, the player did what I told him to do, bunt the ball to the third base. But you need an asterisk on that, and I didn't put that on that. If they crash down like that, you're supposed to pull the bat back and hit it. Now, that's the coach's escape clause, okay? But he didn't do that. He did what he was told to do. I've seen that play run a lot, I've run that play a lot, and I've never seen a double play out of it. So that's perfection. And they did another play with the pitcher coming off the mound and getting the runner at second. They played a brilliant defensive game. Their calls were right, their matchups were right, their timing was right, and their execution was right, and their rewards were right. That's about as good as it gets defense. So when Texas ball didn't work, you just decided to hit it off the wall? That trouble. is uh, just something we keep in the back of our pocket, <laughs> just in case the other stuff doesn't work. When in doubt, go power. But we got a very small generator, so there ain't, no, there ain't a lot in there. <laughs> but then you came back with the Texas ball. There you go. There you go. So it's just a combination of, of something. <laughs> Coach, you've got Oklahoma coming up. Uh, the confidence at the level that it needs to be? Or we have two practices be? first. Let's get the fake bun and hit under control, and then we'll move on to the next issue. <laughs> Oklahoma. But we do have two practices. We need the practices. That's always where the confidence comes from. We, we understand the excitement, the opportunity, and the challenges that will be set uh, on the table for us when we play Oklahoma. Always exciting. They have a great baseball team. Mm -hmm. And uh, at any given moment, are capable of beating anybody in the country. So our job is to stay with the fundamentals of the game, uh, continue to uh, have our pitchers pound the strike zone. They'll have the same kind of pitching. It, it, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun. Coach Enable's 13th save, and it ties for the national lead. How impressed was he been this year? Um, very impressive. Uh, it's 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 a personality that that has developed and continues to evolve, and uh, he, he does it in his own way. But there isn't a coach in the country that wouldn't want to have him to close the game. That can turn around on you. Uh, everything's possible. You remember last year in the in the TCU game, you, you know, with Chance, he hadn't given up a home run to a right-handed hitter uh, in the entire season. He gave up two of them. So that's that's what's exciting about the game, the unexpected. Right now, uh, he's pitching extremely well with a lot of confidence, and uh, let let's stay focused on being happy about that, and uh, not let the fear of what might happen next uh, enter into it. He's, he's doing a great job. You had Weiss at second today. Was that something you uh, Weiss, we wanted to see that. We wanted to see that in case of an injury. We wanted to see that in case uh, it's a move we have to make down the line. Um, uh, we wanted to see that because he played it in high school and he's kind of favors that position. And we wanted to see that to see where we're going next year. But it, it was a combination of a lot of things that gave us an opportunity to play him there. It's unlikely you'll see him there again. Is that his best position? We don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. I, I think he's pretty good at third, you know, and he just, you know, he can really hit. We're going to find some place for him. Coach, thoughts on Montalbano filling in for Wallen? Wallen's been hurt. Yeah, uh, you could put it that way. Maybe, maybe we're talking Wallen filling in for Montalbano. We have to see what happens next. He's feeling a lot better, though. Wallace feeling a lot better, and hopefully he'll be able to go this weekend. Uh, it may be that we make a switch there. Paul's played center field as good as well as it needs to be played. And uh, even though Wallace is taller and faster, uh, 
with with a little bit of limp in his in his giddy up, then maybe uh, Paul's the best center fielder for right now. So that's what tomorrow and the next day for our practice. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks, nice coach. Always nice to you.